this is vid one. Um, it's time to start. Like I can't, I can't not start now. I'm, I've waited too long. I've, but I, I, I waited. I don't know why. I just did. Um, I guess, I guess the best place to start would be who I am. Okay, my name is John David McAnally. I was born in uh, Tahlequah, Oklahoma, at the Native American Hospital. Make sure you get that right. Native American Hospital. I am so sick of all the ignorance that I see around me constantly, daily, every freaking day that I walk this planet. I just see people become less and less intelligent, and it's driving me insane. The rich, powerful, and wealthy do nothing. If they just sit there in their ivory thrones and don't save the world or fix it when they obviously have the power to. I mean, my mind can figure it out. How come theirs can't? All right, well, I, okay, so, born there, um, My childhood is, is oh. I misremember a lot of it just because of a lot of stuff that happened. Um, I moved around a lot. I didn't live with the same people for extended periods of time. Um, if I remember correctly, my parents were together until it was like four or five. I'm not sure. I do remember that I uh, just lived with my mom by the time that I was in elementary school. And then I lived with my mom until third grade. And then lived with my grandparents fourth and fifth. And lived with my dad sixth, seventh, and eighth. And then back with my mom for high school. Um, so, yeah, never really had a stable home life. Which. I mean, this is a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, you just take it the way you want. I don't. I don't want your sympathy or empathy towards that. I don't care. Um, my first memories. I remember the Berlin Wall being taken down. At least I think I do. I do remember my grandmother referencing a piece of. She had a piece of it, which was pretty significant. Um, when I was younger, uh, most weekends I spent at my grandparents, and uh, I was always the first one awake. Always. I mean, just, I, I didn't need to sleep that much, so I always got up first. Um, and I go in there, and I turn on CNN to watch what's going on in Desert Storm, the first real conflict I'd ever seen in my life. And uh, I watched it like a hawk. I mean, I knew, I knew the leaders, I knew the weapons, the platforms being used. I collected the cards, still have that collection. Like, so since my first memories have been war, and it's been the one thing that has fascinated me since I can remember, is conflict. It's the one thing that I've known very, very well. Um... I just want you all to wake up. I want you to pay attention to the world around you. Look at what is going on. Look at our government. Government, look at yourself. I'm not going to throw out accusations and uh, conspiracy theories and all that crap. I don't, I don't care about any of that. I really just want to help, and I know how, I just don't have the power to. All I have is my voice and my mind, so this is, this is my voice and my mind working together, and hopefully someone of some intellect and power hears me and chooses to possibly have a little faith in me. 
Besides, I owe my country. I joined the Air Force and I did not finish my term of service because I became an alcoholic and it got bad. I went through two rehabs while I was in the Air Force. Impatient. I'm not proud of that, but I mean, and I guess I went crazy. And Uncle Sam said, uh, "You need to go." Well. He didn't technically say you need to go. It was a. Uh, I guess I was kind of offered a chance to stay, but I was so broken inside on my mind that I just didn't really know what was going on. I just wanted to escape, and I thought that escape was going to solve my problems, and it totally didn't. Uh. I just just want to save my world and I could if just given the chance but I just can't seem to find the chance I'm watching so many things happen I'm just astounded every day by the lack of intelligence we should be growing smarter, not dumber. But people just seem to be so interested in watching all these reality TV shows. These shows are not reality. This crap is designed to entertain you. It's not real. People are kind of trying to cover up reality, and it's driving me insane. It's just eating me alive. Like, why? I thought I was going to be able to be more focused in this vid, but I obviously can't. I'm just, there's so much in my mind, and I don't even know how to really start. I just... There are certain things that need to take place among our kind. There are certain changes that we need to have happen. There are so many people in our world suffering and we're ignoring them. We can't do this anymore. We can't ignore these people. They are innocent children. Children! They need our help. If I had the power, I would be helping them, but I don't. But there are those of out there who do, and they do nothing. They just sit there in their... Oh, my God. You owe your planet. You owe those that came before you and those that come after you. I want to help. Let me help. I could save them. If people would just listen to me. I don't have the answers to all the problems. Obviously not. I'm as human as you are, but I mean... I know a lot more than most people ever think. Underestimated all the time, constantly. And yet, they seek my advice and ignore it. And then what I say will occur, occurs. Well, maybe not all the time, but more often than not. I 
would love to run for presidency in 2020. That's the first year I turned 35. I meet all the prereqs. I mean, I have a very worldly mind. I am more aware than most people ever imagine. I can see things. I can see potentials. Don't be scared of the unknown. Embrace it. We can become so much better. We can end all of these wars, poverty, sickness, disease. We could all live like kings and queens. We could all be happy. This is only vid one. And I'm going to try to make one every single day until either people start listening to me or I get ghosted by people that get start getting scared of me. You just... I'm willing to do anything to save the world. And that's all I want. It's all I've ever wanted. I could be a very effective leader, but I mean, you got to take a chance on me. And that's on you. I can't force you. And that's the gift of free will. I can't make any of you do anything, and I don't want to. If I have to make you do it, then it's not worth it. If you don't want the world to be saved, if you if you just want it to die off, then just go ahead. Continue on with what y'all are all doing. And kill the planet. And kill all of us. Yeah, most of you won't see it occur in your lifetime. But maybe your children will, or your grandchildren. You don't inherit the planet, you borrow it. You borrow it from future generations. Think about what you are doing. Just think about it. Like, really think. Take a moment. Five minutes out of your day. Think of all the astonishing things that you've witnessed in your life. Nature. Beautiful thing. Beautiful. I mean, do you not, those of us that care are ignored because you just want to live in this ivory towers. I don't even know else how to say it. I, I don't know how else to say it. I, and then the arrogance that these people possess to complain about the things that they complain about. I have in no way suffered a horrible life. I have suffered a life of an amazing experiences, and I didn't suffer it. That was the wrong word for me to use. I wouldn't have changed a single thing that's occurred in my life. Not one. Because it's made me who I am on this very day. And it's given me the mind that it's given me. I used to have so much fear. I'm not afraid anymore. There's no point to being afraid. My fear has held me back. I should have accomplished more, but I didn't. This is my chance to try, and I'm going to take it. So hopefully maybe you'll start listening. Hopefully maybe you'll start waking up, paying attention. I want to first rebuild the United States so that I can rebuild the world. I want to lead, not to rule. I never want to be referred to as a ruler. Ever. I want to give people free will back. 
I want you all to be free and happy. I could do it. I know I can do it. But I can't do it if you won't let me. So, you all have to make this choice. All of you. You have to start. I can do it. I, this man sitting right here, can do it. If you will listen to me, I can save this planet. That is a very bold statement. But I feel it in my heart. It's the strongest feeling I have. I can save this world. I can bring you to the future. I can make this place great again. I can... I can do it! In no way am I perfect. Of course, I've done bad things. I'm human. And... I have been paying for my sins, and I'm sure I'm not done. But... I am now aware. So... Hopefully, for the sake of mankind and humanity, you will listen to me. And if not, then um, enjoy your uh, reality TV shows.